Hi guys, Vex here, and welcome to do, 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 Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Uh, I played this game a little bit, thought it was pretty cool, deleted my save file, so now I'm going in mostly blind, although I know the controls, and that's about it. Uh, this game caught my attention when it was Knights of Pen and Paper, uh, well, 1, and I emailed Paradox Interactive, because they're the people, as you can see down here, that Paradox logo. You might recognize that from the Paradox Plaza in City Skylines, as that little building you can build, it's got their logo on it. But I emailed them and asked them uh, about playing it, and I think, I don't quite remember, I think Knights of Pen and Paper 1 was mostly for mobile, and I was like, when you guys get a, a PC release of this, uh, let me know, because it seems pretty cool. And Knights of Pen and Paper 2 is on Steam, and uh, it's version uh, 1.1. I think it just came out. Uh, so it's pretty new, and I'm gonna play it, because it's a game about playing a tabletop pen and paper game. Let that sink in for a second. So you got play, you got game room, exit, uh, magazine, there's some tutorial here, gold settings. I really love the settings menu. Uh, seeing these little flags here feels very nostalgic. Because uh, that's how they used to do language options. And now it's just like a drop-down menu with language and text. But seeing the way this menu looks, look at the little swords. It, to, for me, it's super nostalgic feeling. I love it. Uh, but there's the magazine, which... I'm still not super sure what the magazine does. Uh, is there a thing about magazines? Uh-huh, yep. This one, you actually can tweet that hashtag, and it can show up in the game, in this magazine. Uh, and the recipes. Uh, maybe this is DLC? So the magazines are how they hit, handle DLC, maybe? I don't, I don't quite know. Yep, maybe that's it. Uh, that's kind of cool. So everything fits within the flavor of you... Uh, playing a pen and paper game. And the game room is basically where you uh, buy buffs for your game master. What I mean by that is say... This is actually what I, one buff I want. It does... Yes, yeah, so you can set up fights with two more enemies, which is good for grinding XP. So they do... Each one has little effects. Shelves, rugs... Uh, to decorate your game room with. So yeah, you're playing as a game master. That's, that one's kind of crazy. You have a robot arena in your game room. Like, don't don't trip on that. That'd be a disaster. Sofas. So, as you can see, they do different effects. So it's it's kind of like uh, you can choose what buffs you want. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start the game. I've only played I don't know maybe 10 or 15 minutes into the beginning, so I haven't seen that much. Let's just dive right in. Uh, new game. Oh my god, the music. Listen to the music. Oh, you know what this track reminds me of? Uh, there was a game for Nintendo, uh, NES, the first one, called uh, Star Tropics. And that was a really good NES game, by the way. If you can play it somehow, I suggest Star Tropics. But this reminds me of the music in it. Once upon a time in the world of Paperos. Yeah, I have my dice ready, man. I see you imported your old character into my campaign as well. This is my level 99 Paper Knight. I have played it in another campaign. Uh, well, we better skip all the noob stuff then, and let's get right down to it. Uh, yeah, I don't need no player's handbook, I know, I can figure out how to play this game. Oh my god. Enter the Tarrasque, the most dreadful creature in existence. Its skin deflects even magic missiles. <laughs> they cast magic missile. There's nothing to attack there. I'm attacking the darkness. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm loving this adventure already. 
Tarask says, What the fuck? Me endgame content. You not summon Tarask now. Be quiet, minion. I changed the script. Yeah, see, I'm the game master. I just talk to my minions and boss them around. I like this game already. <laughs> but my character has plus 225 damage versus Tarask, auto lethal, immunity to all, mortal strikes, ethereal muscles, permanent haste, rust proof, life suck, global silence, and frontal backstab. Ugh. Oh man, I forget to mention the mirror shield that reflects on your damage is very useful in the current meta game. Now, this is such a munchkin. This guy right here is a munchkin. For those who don't know, a munchkin is a person who uh, plays a uh, a game not so much for fun, but for to just find the most efficient, maximized uh, builds for characters or decks of cards or armies you can build or strategies you can put together and they have a reputation for kind of sucking the fun out of the game uh, in their quest for being like mathematically the best they could possibly be within a game system all right so basically this just teaches you how the UI works you attack and then Tras hits and then you hit and they're dealing like like boatloads of damage uh, <laughs> a poor monster. You'll be hearing from my lawyer soon. <laughs> and he, I think he just cheeses it. Uh. <laughs> so he's playing a second edition character. Uh, we have to make a first edition character for you. So he doesn't. I don't think the Munchkin's gonna like giving up his level 99. Uh, power gamer. No, I'll never downgrade to first edition. Eh, GTFO then. But I like the first edition. All right. Uh, choose chairs to add two players. So I need to go get two players to play this RPG with me. Uh, so many options. So, all right, we got to find the people first. So we can pick from a jock. Uh, let's make him a, a human, I guess, so we can actually see. Take off your silly hat. They're all gonna wear, always gonna wear silly hats. Alright, whatever. So there's the jock, uh, cheerleader. And they each have, um, something different about them. Different stats, different specialties. When you take the shield action, restore five health and energy to the party. That's, that was, she would make a great warrior, I think. In my limited time playing, I was already starting to come up with uh, effective strategy combinations. I, well, at least I think. You know, actually looking at the cheerleader... Let me see. Cheerleader, warrior, human... Uh, elf, I think, actually? An elf warrior? I know that sounds strange, but... Yeah, so lots of... Alright, so an Elf Warrior is going to have lots of energy to do, to do moves. And... Shield. Repose threat. Senses roll. So basically, uh, repost. In battle, uh, you make a senses roll, which is the green stat. So you have sense, body, senses, and mind. It's very... Compared to, like, say, actual D&D... Which I was playing recently with a friend. Pretty cool. I want to play more of it. I really want to play more D&D. &D. So hopefully I can play some more Dungeons & Dragons eventually. Uh, but compared to that, this is super streamlined and simplified. Which is which is good, because you're controlling a bunch of people. Uh, but I kind of want to have high senses to make these repost rolls here. Uh, and that basically gets a free attack in... It's, it's pretty nice. So I think I'll go a repost build for a warrior. And if I spam shield, she can restore health. And yeah, that might work. Okay, I'm going to try that. So we're going to have a cheerleader. Uh, two senses. Rich kid. Who? Uh, is there anyone else? Extra hand slot. Chill. Uh, that might, might be bad. 
The Surfer, Chill, Automatically Recover. Uh, resurrecting this player is free. Extra Trinket Slot, Shop Finish. So we're going to have a Cheerleader as a Warrior. An Elf Warrior? Could be a Human Warrior. What does Human get? One skill point. Eh. I want, I want that... I want that energy bar. Although we don't really need it, do we? Oh, that's horrendous. I don't want to have to just look at that all game, so you're going to be an elf. <laughs> I just... Like, look at her! <laughs> oh, the dwarf is not bad, but you get armor that does the damage reduction, so it's not really... Just, just make an elf. Get that extra senses roll. Alright. So I have a dwarf, uh, and a cheerleader, elven warrior, warrior. Yes. Blogging about this campaign. Can we name her? Is there a way to... Alright, whatever. And then we need basically a damage dealer. Um, I don't know. There's the jock. I can play with the jock. There's a surfer. Uh, a rich kid. He gets... Your enemies drop more gold. That's not bad. Uh, you receive no energy penalties from equipment. Interesting. Goth. Resurrecting them is free if they die. I, that, I don't know how good that would be. I don't have experience with resing people yet. You have an extra trinket slot. And the hipster. Uh, shop items become available earlier. I... I'm not super concerned with that either. Um. Dun, 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 dun. um I don't know. Well, what class do I want? Cleric. Let's take a quick look at the cleric abilities. Uh, and I'd like to do this. Uh, I guess I'll look at them on camera so you can see. If you want to read them more, just pause the video. I'll just skim through them super fast. Radiance. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Paladin. Okay. Oh. That's really cool. Mm-hmm, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mage. Mm-hmm, yep. Frostblade, uh-huh. Inflict deal black. Inflict blood. And target back row. Yeah, uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Yep, Ooh, cool. Uh, thief. Uh, I picked the thief before. I quite liked the... this ability, Barrage of Knives. That seemed quite nice. and deal one extra damage to this. Oh, okay. Deal four damage. Uh, prepared arrow. Do four damage and random hit burn, poison, or wound. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that's really cool. Two damage to up to two random enemies. Uh, damage, threat, health, and energy, and attribute rolls. Crit and initiative rolls, energy, health attribute rolls. Deal two damage. Gain. I think I might go with a hunter. Um, not a hipster though. Uh, who's good? So, gain one initiative, damage roll, threat roll, 
damage roll. So actually, body. Uh, body seems good for a hunter. Mind, yeah, so... A human... A dwarven hunter, maybe? I'm gonna go with elf, just so they can spam more moves. Although, pa an elven paladin seemed like it would be good, too. Uh, rocker? Rocker, elven, hunter? Yeah, you've got body and mind. That makes a pretty well-rounded character. Yeah, that looks good. Let's try this. Boom. Live and let die. So a cheerleader and a rocker. Well, I guess it's his groupie, maybe. I don't know. Let's continue. There's a flash of light and your characters find themselves in a small village! So I hope you guys get to see pretty much everything in the character creation. I think I moused over every option at least once. If you miss something, just rewind the video or pause it, and you'll have a pretty good sense of every, literally everything you can make. I think, unless there's more stuff you can unlock. So we find ourselves in a small village. Ooh. The village elder greets you. Hello. Welcome to Spawn Point Village. <laughs> the market leader and adventurer generation business. Great. Mm. Something wrong with the summoning circle. Yeah, Horribly disfigured, huh? Yeah. Uh, suddenly a dragon eats you, and then rocks fall and everybody dies. That's it, can pan over. A paper gangster? Look at this cluser. Paper gangster number two. Oh no, a tutorial! Uh, sure, I'll show it off. Boop, boop, boop. This kind of goofy combat music reminds me of Earthbound. Like that, t the tone. I love the music in this game. Ow. Poison. Ew, gross. And, okay, so you can only attack the front row unless your ability says otherwise. So... What do I have? No consumables, a shield option. Uh, I haven't put a point in repost yet. So you don't actually, she doesn't actually have that, so I can't start doing that strategy. So I'll just attack. Uh, I guess this front row dude. So that one, went, this person goes second, third, fourth, fifth. Ow. So, I think I'm supposed to use the, uh, lose this. So let's eat the carrot. Yeah! Alright. Yeah, I'm back to... Seems like I should run from this situation. Oh, they feel dizzy. Clash of Editions plus Nausea. I don't know if Nausea is in this edition. Uh, are we fighting second edition enemies? Clash of Edition. Oh god. I need to take the cartridge out and blow on it to fix that, I think. A terrain effect. The top right. Cla immediately teleport away all second editioners, such as the Paper Gang. Oh, well, alright then. XP and gold! Nice! So now, what can I do in the village? Uh, I can sleep. And that, since I'm in a village, it, I sleep safely. Out in the field, I can be attacked when I try to sleep. So there's quests to go on. Let's try and fight something. Is there something I can fight? Well, let's ask about the quest first. Say monsters. Okay. Giant rat population. Of course, in an RPG, we have to fight rats first. That's just like a given. Let's start that. The Paper Knight Gang is transforming the world of Paperos by a strange magic we do not understand. They are plunging the world into chaos. Uh, -uh. everlasting gratitude of Paperos. Cool. 
And a huge pile of gold. I like the sound of that. A favorite. The giant rat population is our finest attraction. But the Paper Knight Gang set the village full of rat traps. Did you hear that? Did you, you want me to read that again? The giant rat population is their finest attraction, but the Paper Knight Gang is setting rat traps in the village. It's not exactly what you expect from a starting quest, is it? Save our precious rats, and save us from going bankrupt. So I have to save the rats instead of kill them. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. We're, we're fighting rat traps. Like, mouse traps. Right, uh -huh. Kill seven rat traps, one or more battles to kind of start. Alright, so this is I can uh, come in here and and uh, change the encounter. Since I'm the GM, I determine the encounter. So it's basically kind of like what you think you can handle. Now I'm just going to click it up to five because, well, I can take these guys on. So there's the chicken out button. So for now, I'm just going to attack the front row. And it pretty much kills him one hit, it seems. Yeah, I easily have this. Alright, let's get you. And you! And just one more. That kills you pretty easily. Oh, crit. Completely unnecessary. XP and, and if you pick lots of enemies, you do get a bonus to XP here. I found some... I found lettuce. Oh my god. I feel like I'm playing something on uh, Commodore 64. Look at those graphics. Yay! And they leveled. Alright, finally I can employ my strategy. So you're going to take Repost. I don't care about any of these other abilities. You're just going to do a Repost build. And level that up. Yes. So she'll gain Threat. So I would need her to get more Threat, actually. She doesn't have that much. Um, she should... Uh, make the actual repost ability. She should be able to use it often and make her repost properly because she's got high senses and it's a sense roll. Uh, mind is lacking a bit. Health attributes. So her health could be better. Oh, but she's got body to make up for it. So 23, 23 and 37 and then... Yeah, you've actually got more. So you're 6, 7, and 3 and you're 6, 6, and 4. Four. Mm. Alright. I don't know what to do with a hunter. I just kind of picked you because you sounded cool. So we'll figure it out. Uh, your threat needs to go down, that's for sure. Uh, initiative. Okay. Four damage. That looks kind of nice. That's a nice single target ability. Mm -hmm. This looks really cool. Two threat until you're attacked. Then you get... Counterattack, no damage. That's really nice. I th oh, you have to use that, though. I thought it was a passive. Although, still, it's not bad. And you could use it three times in a battle. That's pretty good. Why don't we put a point into that? Alright. So, that's our level up. And... I'll do one more fight and use our abilities here. And our quest isn't over anyway. So let's add... You see why I want to add, be able to add two more enemies? So you could farm two more enemies per, per battle. That'd be cool. Hello, well. Alright, so now I've got some... i got the decoy. Let's go ahead and... Let's use the decoy. And then... So he takes no damage, and then you're just going to sit there and block. And they're all going on him, for some reason, because... Are you serious? Alright, you just sit there and block. I just want to see the repost go off. Apparently blocking... Uh... Yeah, there's the repost. Okay, so she blocked it and then killed them, and then blocked it and then... Didn't kill him. Didn't go off that time. Make your sense roll, damn it. Alright, just kill him. <laughs> I think the repost will uh, come into play when I get better gear that actually adds threat. 
Because there is gear that adds threat and reduces threat, so... And they dinged again. Give me that eraser, oh yeah. Alright, uh, repost again. What else? Pommel, power, and cleave. Eh. No, I want more repost. You're just going all repost. So it's going to be up to... Ah, yes! So that is going to add more threat passively. So she's up to two threat and uh, an extra threat. It climbed up. What is that? Purse. Is it a trinket? Oh, cool. Is it equipped? Can I equip it on you? Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. 1% extra gold. I, I guess I'll take it. And you... I kind of had my eye on that. Two random enemies. Deal four damage. That'd be useful on a boss character, I think, to get status effects on the boss. I should definitely take the passive, though. So he'll get initiative. And you need eight threat, six threat. I've got to get that threat down on the the hunter here and the threat up on the warrior. Basically that's that's uh, how likely enemies are to attack that character specifically. So I want it maxed out on the warrior and as low as possible on the hunter here. Well anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and turn the quest in since it's done. Yep, yep. So the shop is available and should be a new quest. Up. Yep, there's a new quest, there's a shop. Here's the shop. So, threat plus two. That's what I'm looking for. Is there anything higher than threat plus two? Ooh, that's quite nice. Oh, threat plus four. Yep, okay, I want that. How much gold do I have? I got 74 gold. Uh, I definitely want that. And you get that weapon. And... Hmm... I need to get you some armor, too, since you're going to have all this threat on you. Let's take the armor, too, for sure. And the shield. So you've got a... There we go. Is that your offhand? Your other hand? Okay. So let's take a look at your stats now. And... Threat is now 12, so we've jacked up the uh, chance she'll be attacked. And damage resist. Six. Outstanding. So hopefully that threat can keep getting higher and higher. And the damage reduction will get higher and higher. And she'll just sit there, get hit while shielding, and then make a repost attack for free. And it'll be great. That's my strategy for my warrior here. The hunter? Eh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with him. We'll see. And maybe eventually I'll get more characters too. But I have two for now. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, I'm going to play it, whether or not I record it, I really want to play it. So if you want to see more, let me know, and I'll see you guys next adventure. Until then, as always, take it easy.